so what happened at the protest is that there was the Let Women Speak. There were the TRAs a little while away um, being held back by the police. And uh, then at some point, 20 fit young to middle-aged men in shorts and T-shirts and bucket hats and face coverings, all in black, marched up past the TRAs, gave them a straight arm salute, uh, and at some point they stood on the steps of Parliament away from the Let Women Speak parade, uh, Let Women Speak event. They were carrying a banner that said, Destroy Pedo Freaks. And uh, they, again, gave several rounds of the straight arm salute. And I think they took some video of it. Um, they spoke to the police. Then what has happened is, of course, the mainstream media have jumped on this, the TRAs have jumped on this, and they're all essentially saying that the Let Women Speak rally was um, joined by Nazis and therefore every woman has to denounce these particular individuals, even though some of them wouldn't have even seen them at the rally. They, no. you know, they were actually quite removed from where the Let Women Speak was. Yeah. And I'm just going to say as well, the reason that these people came was because they were invited. They weren't invited by Let Women Speak, no. but the TRAs put up posters all around town and online saying, fight the right, fight, fight the, the right, right. Mm. and saying with a picture of Kelly J. Keane's face, saying that she is a far right fascist and that they should everyone should turn up to be what to fight the right that's so right so obviously the yeah. right have gone oh well we'll turn up too these fellows i did watch their entire interview we're going to call them nazi interviewer and big nazi who's the organizer of the uh, event um I'm not a Nazi. I'm very much on the left. I have studied 20th century his history. So I'm familiar with um, totalitarianism. I'm familiar with national socialism. I'm familiar with um, you know, all of those political movements, those extreme political movements, because of the study that I've done. And I just want to say these guys, have nothing to do with me and I I denounced them denounced denounced all right play on we denounced them like what and you know someone was taking me on the tweets because I wasn't gonna say oh, I denounced them because I just thought it was a stupid thing to say um but you know it's it's a stupid game you know, it's a stupid yeah, game. It's a dumb game. Like, the, is there anything, any evidence that any of us have had any any indication of being white supremacists for a start? I mean, it's, anyways, I'm not going to go into it. I think that these guys have been sent there. <laughs> they've been invited by someone specifically. Either they've been given the wrong information or they've been there, put sent there to stir the shit that they did stir and to vilify us. So let's go. Yeah, let's go. But what was your motivation for the day? What were your motivations? Did you achieve your goal? I think we definitely achieved our goal and, and some more. The goal was simply to go down there and, and do a real world activism event. But the goal was to form an ideological barrier between these sort of conservatives, freedom rally people. Um, there was even TERFs there. There was like a I don't know what's called trans exclusionary radical feminist something so like lefties that hate trannies so there's all these different hodgepodge of groups there and then you've got just this like organized front and our goal was to go down there and represent a a, a symbolic ideological uh, uh, barrier between these two forces in in See? what universe does he think that the Nazis are the ideological middle ground between TERFs and TRAs. <laughs> like he says, oh, we're coming in as a psychological barrier. That's right, yeah. Um, oh, and a physical barrier. Uh, so, so we've got like 
the TRAs on one side that think that women, <laughs> like there's no such thing as a woman and that a woman is an idea in a man's head. Mm. We've got the Nazis over there on who think that basically a, a woman is disorganised unless a man is showing up to boss her around. They're a caveman pretty much. And then we've got these women who are like these, these smart, passionate women who just want to stand up mm. on the steps of parliament for a couple of minutes and talk about themselves and their own experiences. What gives him the right to think that he's the middle? And, and you know, it says something about when women speak, doesn't it? Women speak and we attract all these fuckheads. <laughs> 